welcome back. I'm hanging out with my friend Seth Myers. Um, Twitter throws us some pretty big questions, all right, y'all? But fear not, Seth and I are here to give brilliant answers to those questions in another round of Kelly's Core and Twitter Questionnaire. Here's how it works. I'll read some of the most thoughtful questions we found on Twitter during the quarantine. Then Seth and I will help out with some answers. Okay, it's like a different version of Dear Abby. Here we go. Um, our first on today's Twitter questionnaire comes from at David Covucci, I think. Um, everyone is talking about good quarantine habits. Tell me your worst. I, for one, have started chewing nicotine gum for no reason other than it was on sale at the pharmacy. <laughs> what? I want your life, David, because obviously not a lot is going on, and I'm very busy. <laughs> um, I don't. What's your quarant? What's your worst quarantine habit, Seth? Um, I don't know. I think I'm over flossing uh, just to like break up the day. <laughs> oh my god! You know what yeah. I'm doing? Q-tips. I already oh, am yeah. a Q-tip queen. I love cleaning my ears. I can't stand. I can't stand like any kind of moisture in my ears and I've been showering a lot because we live on a ranch and I, I, I'm probably going to run my ears somehow. I, look, I love a good Q-tip, but I like to savor it. I don't, when I feel like overusing a Q-tip takes away the excitement. For me, it's That's a treat. <laughs> it's like, like for, you know, if I, if I accomplish something, then I'm like, you've earned yourself a Q-tip. Yeah, I do. I love cleaning up my ears. Okay. Can okay. I ask you a Q-tip question? Do you, yes. uh, do you do one Q-tip that you switch for each ear or does each ear get one Q-tip? Here's the weird thing about me. It's so interesting you asked. Um, I do one Q-tip and I do one side and then I do the other side deep in and then I take another Q-tip and I do the at, like around, you know, inside the ear. Yeah, and yeah. then I do the same thing with the other side. I swear. Wow. Yeah, it's a process. Yeah. I enjoy, I enjoy Q-tips. I call them eargasms. They're good. We there might want to not put that in the show. Um, <laughs> or, I don't know, hell, put it in. Um, <laughs> all right, the next one is from at hello colon. Um, what if Seinfeld met the Sopranos? <laughs> That's actually a great question. Just like what what happened? Yeah, like what do you so Seth, what do you think? Turf war? Like I'm just I saying don't know. like I think like Jerry would be like, What's the deal with Polly Walnuts? <laughs> Why is that the side of his hair white? I think it would be more interesting to see Kramer with them. Anyway, yeah. I love Seinfeld. Kramer would That's definitely so like sort of like blow up the mob game somehow. Yeah. Yes, it would have been a great episode. Um, good question. Um, okay, this next one is from Jay Portney, uh, who asks, what's the dumbest fight you've gotten into in quarantine? Well, you know what, <sighs> here's the thing, you should never ask a married person that. Because there's right, plenty. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know, like Brandon and I, I it's just because it's every, the kids are crazy. Everything's crazy and all, we're all together. I mean, are you, you and your wife, have y'all just yeah. been stupid things? Where I was doing, well, my, um, uh, our two-year-old, like, uh, he, he, like, fell and hit his, he hit his, uh, chin and, and, you know, he split it open and I immediately panicked because I thought we were going to have to go to the emergency room, which is obviously not a place you want to be right now, you know, because you don't want to require the attention of first responders who are dealing with more important things. Um, and basically while I was flipping out and screaming about how bad it was, my wife just like put a bandaid on it and fixed it. <laughs> it became very clear that I'm not the person you want in a crisis. Okay, I'm you and my husband is her. Um, you know, I would have been like, oh my God, I can't even, there's not even, we've had so many dumb arguments, like stupid. And then we, and then literally in the moment, we're like, this is so stupid. Like, let's just go have a drink. Um, the, the next one though was posted by at Laura Wags. Um, I turned 27 this weekend. Uh, what are people doing for birthdays besides Zoom calls? Well, I spent mine alone because... I know a lot of people are in isolation and they don't have people living in their house, but I have many people living in my house and I wanted to be alone on my birthday and it was beautiful. What about you? Yeah. I mean, guess like those like VR goggles where I would just sit and like be Oculus. somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oculus. Yeah. I have those. They're so cool. My daughter loves to do the deep sea one. It's so cool. But then she <laughs> freaks out. Um, no, that's a good one. That's a good idea. Um, unless you don't have, you know, a VR thing, and then it just looked like we were browsing. Uh, you know what also works is two toilet paper rolls, uh, <laughs> and you just hold your phone against it. Yeah, and it just seems like you're there. Um, yeah. All right, last question in the corn Twitter questionnaire. I hate saying that. Um, comes from at R Thomas Hoff thirty four. 
what a handle. Um, if you could be quarantined with a superhero, ooh, who would you pick and why? Also, who would be the worst superhero to be stuck with in a house? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, I feel like Wolverine, you don't want to be stuck with someone who has, you know, claws. Just, to, you know, uh, it would be, you know, it would get angry fast. So I would say you don't, you don't want a Wolverine. I mean, you know, all things being equal, I feel like Batman is pretty resourceful, you know, has the most uh, stuff on his belt. Um, yeah. And rich, so and all was, that cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that, that would be my choice, yeah. Honestly, I was going to pick Batman as well, but then I thought flying would be fun. It would really be a way to get out of the house, so maybe I might Yeah, go. but then I think, like, a lot of people would be like, you got to fly with a mask on because of your <laughs> particles. And I feel like if the first time I fly, I don't want to, like, ruin it with that. You know? <laughs> I think what's funny, the best part of your answer with Wolverine is every female just disagreed with you. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Every female is like, mm, I'd rather have more you know, Wolverine <laughs> in my, my room with me. Yes. <laughs> And separate um that was a good one um all right well th hey thank you so much Seth uh, it's always good to see you I know that you're slammed with work we all are right now we're trying to you know keep everyone distracted and and um you know because it's kind of a scary uncertain time but everybody y'all can watch Late Night with Seth Meyers weeknights on NBC it's seriously one of my favorite shows ever he's so great y'all should watch it we will be right back subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel Please don't make me keep going.